Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 99. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm with Trisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. In India, the commercial banks are required to provide how much percentage of their advances to priority sector? The correct answer is 40%. Priority sector lending is an important role given by the Reserve Bank of India to the banks for providing a specific portion of bank lending to few specific sectors like agriculture and allied activities, micro and small enterprises, poor people for housing, students for education, and other low income groups and weaker sections. This is essentially meant for an all round development of the economy as opposed to focusing only on the financial sector. All the foreign funds to come forward as foreign institutional investments or FII prior to any investment are needed to register in which among the following bodies? The correct answer is SEBI. FIIs who obtain specific approval from SEBI have been permitted to invest 100% of their portfolios in debt securities. Such investment may be listed or to be listed corporate debt securities or indebted government securities and is treated to be part of the overall limit on external commercial borrowing. In which year was the first national forest policy issued by the government of India? The correct answer is 1952. The first ever forest policy was adopted by British colonial government in 1894 However, our own forest policy post-independent was brought forward in 1952 and it recommended that 33% of the area of the country be brought under forest cover. Consider the following. 1. Oil palm, 2. Rubber, 3. Coffee, 4. Tea, 5. Sugarcane. Which among the above is considered plantation crops in India for the purpose of agricultural policy? The correct answer is the first four. So plantation crops are known as cash crops. These crops are mostly grown at tropical and subtropical areas. These crops are grown for sale but not for local consumption. In India, the major plantation crops include coconut, arachnid, oil palm, etc. However, sugarcane is not a part of it. Let's fair is represented by which of the following economies? The correct answer is free enterprise economy. The phrase laissez-faire is part of a larger French phrase and translates to let them do. But in this context, it usually means to let go. Laissez-faire refers to the economic policy of letting owners of industry and business set working conditions without interference. This policy favors a free market unregulated by the government. Who among the following gave the theory of invisible hands in management? The correct answer is Adam Smith. The unobservable market force that helps the demand and supply of goods in a free market to reach equilibrium automatically is the invisible hand. The phrase was introduced by Adam Smith in his book, The Wealth of Nations. Headquarters of Central Plantation Crops Research Institute is located at Kasargore, Kerala. Um, Central Plantation Crops Research Institute or CPCRI uh, was established in 1970 by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research or ICAR and has its headquarters in Kudlu, 5 kilometers north of Kasargore. Which among the following is not the primary function of a commercial bank in India? So you can see in the image the primary functions include accepting deposits, making advances and credit creation. Anything else is not a primary function of commercial banks. So in this list of options, the correct answer would be option B, merchant banking. Which among the following are referred often as factories of credit in India? The correct answer is commercial banks. A commercial bank creates credit when it buys securities and pays the seller with its own check. The check is deposited in some bank and a deposit is created for the seller of securities. This is also called credit creation. 
As a result of credit creation, money supply in the economy becomes higher. It is because, because of this credit creation power of commercial banks or the banking system in general that they are called factories of credit or manufacturers of money. Which among the following is known as trivia of unity in money? The correct answer is the mass of trivia. The mass of trivia officially the city on the bill of money in money was signed on 7 February 1992.